Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about phylogenetic trees and about evolution and basically we are going to talk about definitions of the paraphyletic, polyphyletic and monophyletic groups in regards of the phylogenetic tree. And the first question is shared derived characteristics are most likely to be found in the taxa that are and we have to choose the correct answer. And right away second question a taxon of all whose members have the same common ancestor is and again we have to choose the correct answer. Let's take a common ancestor 8 who is going to be a common ancestor of both taxon H and I. So let me circle them together and as you see such a group we call monophyletic group. So definition of the monophyletic group is going to be common ancestor and all his descendants. Now let's take common ancestor 7 and now also let's circle following taxa G, H and I. So is it going to be monophyletic group or not? Actually not because as you see this common ancestor has also descendant F this taxon and it is not included in this circle. So we call such group as paraphyletic group when in the group some of the descendants is not included just like in this example. And what would be example of the polyphyletic group imagine that we have species C and let's say this is fly and another species is going to be species F and taxon F is a bird and we group them together only because they both can fly but they are unrelated. Another example would be let's say this is salmon and this is dolphin and again we join them together in one group so they are unrelated but in this case we call this group polyphyletic. Now let's do a little bit more practice for example how do we call a group like this. I hope by now you can give the name and this is going to be monophyletic because here we have a common ancestor and we have included all the descendants of the ancestor 1. So this is monophyletic group. And how we are going to call this group? Again this is going to be example of the monophyletic group because ancestor number 2 here and we circled all his descendants. And what about this group here? And this time this is going to be example of the polyphyletic group because he is going to be recent common ancestors, he is going to be another recent common ancestor but we do not include all the descendants and actually these two species according to this phylogenic tree are not going to be uh, very closely related. Now let's return to our questions again. Shared derived characteristics are most likely to be found in the taxa that are and of course it's going to be monophyletic group when two species would be closely related through recent common ancestor. So answer B. And next question a taxon all of whose members have the same common ancestor is again monophyletic group. And this is answer C. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.